Hey there, financial enthusiasts and savvy investors of Singapore. I'm Adi, coming to you from the Investing Iguana channel, where we peel back the layers of the investment world to uncover the core insights that matter to you. The Investing Iguana is featured and ranked 8th in the 2023 Influential Tigers by Tiger Brokers. Today, we're diving deep into Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust, or Impact, to explore the intricate details behind its latest fiscal numbers. And behind Impact's numbers, growth, risks, and opportunities explored, we're not just skimming the surface. We'll dissect Impact's growth trajectory, the headwinds it faces, and the potential opportunities that lie ahead. From currency challenges to strategic asset enhancements, we're covering all the bases to give you a holistic view of Impact's performance. So, whether you're a seasoned investor or new to the game, this breakdown is tailored to provide you with actionable insights. Get ready to unlock the secrets behind Impact's numbers. Navigating through financial storms, a closer look at DPU dynamics. In the recent financial quarter, Impact, a real estate investment trust, REIT, has shown a commendable performance. The company reported a slight increase in its gross revenue, which is a clear indication of its robust performance. This increase was particularly noticeable in its properties located in Singapore. However, not all was smooth sailing for impact. The company faced a significant challenge due to the strength of the Singapore dollar. This strength proved to be a formidable opponent as it negatively impacted the rental income from impact's overseas ventures. These ventures are located in Hong Kong, Japan, and China. The strong Singapore dollar meant that when the rental income from these countries was converted back to Singapore dollars, the amount was less than expected. On the brighter side, Impact managed to decrease its total property operating expenses slightly. This decrease, coupled with a notable rise in net property income, is a positive sign for the company. Net property income is the income that a REIT earns from its rental properties after deducting the costs of running and maintaining those properties. An increase in this income means that the properties are being managed efficiently and are generating more income. However, despite these positive developments, Impact could not fully protect itself from the impact of rising finance costs. Finance costs are the costs a company incurs to borrow funds. In the case of a REIT like Impact, these could be loans taken to purchase properties. As these costs have risen, they have eaten into Impact's profits. This rise in finance costs has led to a decrease in impact's distribution per unit, DPU. The DPU is the amount of the profit or income that a REIT returns to its investors for each unit they hold. A decrease in DPU could mean that investors will receive less income from their investment in the REIT. The Occupancy Odyssey, from Singapore Shores to Overseas Horizons Impact, with its strong portfolio occupancy rate of 96.7%, has shown that there is a robust demand for its properties. This high occupancy rate indicates that a large percentage of its properties are rented out, which is a positive sign of the company's performance and the attractiveness of its properties. However, the journey has not been entirely smooth. Impact's ventures in China have experienced a slight decrease in occupancy rates. Despite this dip, there are signs of improvement, indicating that the situation is not stagnant and there is potential for growth. The story of rental reversions, which is the change in rent when a property is released, is a bit mixed. On one hand, there have been positive outcomes, which could be due to factors such as the attractiveness of the properties or the strategic locations. On the other hand, there have been challenges in Hong Kong and China. These challenges hint at potential pressures on rents in these regions, possibly due to factors such as market conditions, competition, or economic factors. The Debt Dilemma, Steering Towards Calmer Waters In the face of the debt dilemma, Impact has shown a steady hand at the helm. The company has managed to maintain its aggregate leverage, which is the ratio of its total debt to its total assets, at a steady level. This stability is a positive sign as it indicates that the company is not taking on excessive debt relative to its assets. In addition, Impact has shown a slight move toward stability in its cost of debt. The cost of debt is the interest rate that a company pays on its borrowings. A stable cost of debt means that the company is not facing increasing interest costs, which can eat into its profits. One of the strategic moves that Impact has made is to increase its fixed rate debt to 85%. Fixed rate debt is debt that carries a fixed interest rate as opposed to variable rate debt where the interest rate can change. By increasing its fixed rate debt, Impact has safeguarded itself against sudden spikes in interest costs. This is because even if market interest rates rise, the interest rate on its fixed rate debt will remain the same. 
This move showcases prudent financial management on the part of Impact. In the face of unpredictable market conditions, the company has taken steps to protect itself from potential risks. This is akin to steering a ship towards calmer waters amidst the storm. Vivo City, the jewel in the crown shines brighter. Vivo City, the flagship property of Impact, continues to shine brightly in the company's portfolio. This shopping mall has seen an increase in shopper traffic and tenant sales, indicating its popularity among consumers and businesses alike. The recent completion of an asset enhancement initiative at Vivo City has further boosted its appeal. This initiative could have included a range of improvements, such as refurbishing the mall, adding new facilities, or bringing in popular new tenants. These enhancements not only make the mall more attractive to shoppers and tenants, but they also promise a lucrative return on investment for impact. This means that the money spent on enhancing the mall is expected to be more than recouped through increased income from the property. The success of Vivo City reaffirms its status as a key player in Impact's portfolio. In other words, it is one of the most important and valuable properties that Impact owns. Its success contributes significantly to the overall performance of the company. Festival Walk, a beacon of recovery. Festival Walk, located in Hong Kong, is experiencing a revival. There has been a significant increase in both shopper traffic and tenant sales, indicating a positive trend in its performance. This resurgence is a clear sign of recovery and growth. Impact has played a crucial role in this revival by implementing strategic brand additions and organizing engaging events. Strategic brand additions could include bringing in popular or high-end brands that attract more customers. Engaging events could range from promotional sales to entertainment events, which not only attract more visitors but also enhance the shopping experience. These strategies have breathed new life into Festival Walk, enhancing its attractiveness to both shoppers and potential tenants. As a result, footfall, which is the number of people visiting the mall, has increased. This increase in footfall is beneficial as it leads to higher potential sales for the tenants and, consequently, higher rental income for impact. A word of wisdom, trading with caution. As we conclude this analysis, it's important to note that impact is trading with caution. The company signals a tempered outlook due to the current geopolitical tensions and a sluggish global economy. These factors can have a significant impact on the real estate market, affecting property values, rental income, and overall profitability. Impact is focusing on cost control, a prudent strategy in uncertain times. By keeping a close eye on expenses, the company can ensure it remains profitable even if revenues are affected by external factors. Moreover, Impact is relying on its stellar assets, such as Maple Tree Business City and Vivo City. These properties have shown strong performance and are expected to continue to generate significant income for the company. Their success can help buffer the company against potential downturns in other areas. However, despite its strategic planning and robust assets, Impact is bracing for what lies ahead. The company is aware of the challenges posed by the current economic climate and is prepared to navigate through these challenging times. So, there you have it, folks, a comprehensive breakdown of Impact's Q3 FI 2024 earnings. Is Impact still a beacon for investors in these uncertain times? And there we have it, folks, a comprehensive journey through Impact's latest financial performance, exploring the nuanced dynamics of growth, the challenges it navigates, and the promising opportunities on the horizon. If you found value in our deep dive and feel more equipped to make informed decisions, why not show some love by hitting that like button? Your engagement fuels our mission to bring you the most insightful content. Feel passionate about Impact's journey or have insights to share? Drop us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Investing Iguana and turn on notifications to stay ahead in the investment game with more analyses like this one. Until our next exploration, keep those investments growing, and remember, the key to unlocking potential is staying informed. This is Iggy, signing off. Happy investing, everyone!